And for the first time since February 26th, beginning next week, New Japan is returning to action. And here is the plan. Starting June 15th, they're going to run a show called the... A week from today, Monday. Yes, they're going to run a show called the Together Project Special. There is no card announced for the show. You have to watch the show to find out what's happening. After that, they're going to start the New Japan Cup, which is going to run June 16th through July 11th. All of those are going to be empty arena shows, except the finale, which is going to be July 11th, and Dominion, which is taking place the next day. Those will be the first New Japan shows that will include fans. They're going to set up Osaka Joe Hall for one-third of normal capacity. So about four, And they're going to put thousand. people in the building. Yeah, 4,000 tickets for the, the shows on the 11th and the 12th. So there you go. After all this time, New Japan is starting up again. And maybe, I mean, maybe they will beat WWE and AEW to putting fans in the building. Maybe. Uh, who knows? Um, I mean, the... The WWE and AEW are in Florida, and there's probably going to be some allowances for something in Florida already. I mean, they're opening up a lot of other things. So I think it's more a question now of um, what they want to do. Um, New Japan's going to announce this week all the different things as far as, um, you know, for those shows, like what will be required. Uh, but I'm sure that's going to have, you know, temperature screening and masks and and all that will be at those shows and um so the new japan cup they it's a 32 man tournament it's essentially the they they had bracketed out a tournament uh that was supposed to take place in march and the wrestlers who were i think of the 32 wrestlers that were in the original tournament 17 are still in, which are essentially pretty much all the Japanese wrestlers except for Kenta, who for whatever reason is not in, whether he's sick or injured, it wasn't said, but everybody else is in. And then the 15 um, who aren't in, uh, with the exception of Kenta, so 14 of them were, were the foreign talent. Now there's two foreigners that are in the tournament, uh, Zack Sabre Jr., because he's in Japan, and Gabriel Kidd, who's also in Japan. So everybody else is not in Japan, and they're not in the tournament. Um, as far as, like, when they will be back, you know, it depends on um, when it's allowable, I guess, from the various countries and, and everything. Um, but, you know, so it's, it's a lot of... So it's replacements. Um, so... The first round, so the, 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 so the first matches, which will be on the 16th, is uh, Togi Makabe and Yota Suji, uh, Tomohiro Ishii and Desperado, Toriyano and Jado, and um, Hiromu Takahashi and Tomoaki Hanma. So one of the things is that there are going to be, I think, 13 junior heavyweights are in the tournament. Originally, there were none, but they have to fill these spots. And then on the 17th, which would be Wednesday of next week, so all these shows will start at 6 a.m. Eastern time, by the way, um, in the tournament. Um, the, the Osaka shows uh, will start at earlier times. Um, I think it's 4 a.m. and is, is the first one, and then 2 a.m. is the second one. So the second Osaka show, the tournament winner will face Tetsuya Naito for both the IWGP and Intercontinental titles at the second Osaka show on July the 12th. So that's what I was kind of told, like, there's going to be the big show in Osaka with fans um, real soon. So it's that's the 11th and the 12th. So the second day, uh, which would be the uh, 17th, is Okada and Ghetto. Um, and then, uh, what else? Um, Yuji Nagata, Minoru Suzuki, and... Uh, Yui Uimura and Yoshinobu Kanemaru and Gabriel Kidd and Taiji Ishimori. Right. And then on the other side, this would be on the 22nd, or uh, two weeks from today, uh, Tanahashi and Taichi, which was originally scheduled, as well as Kotobushi and Zack Sabre Jr. So 
those two are going to go exactly probably as planned. And I think that the idea is to set up a tag team title match with Tanahashi and Ibushi against um, Taichi and Saber. So I don't know what that means as far as the results of these two matches. Um, but I could see Taichi winning over Tanahashi as one of the surprises. Because if not, in the second round, you've got Tanahashi against either Ibushi or Saber. And I, for whatever reason, I don't think that was the plan in the tournament. Because um, Tanahashi and uh, Ibushi is much too big of a match. And Tanahashi and Saber, I mean, you could do that, but it's been done a lot. Um, and then uh, Ryusuke Takuchi against Sonata and Sho and Shingo Takagi. So Sho's replacing Will Ospreay. Uh, of course, if you remember, Sho and Shingo Takagi in the Junior Heavyweight Tournament had an absolutely killer match. So it's there for a reason. So, um, I mean, it looks pretty much, I would think, like Sonata and Takagi, which is a really unique match um, in the second round. I um, I don't know, unless they, they pull some upsets. Um, I can't see Sonata losing to Taguchi in the first round. Then um, Tenzan and Yoshihashi. And then, uh, what is this here? We Bushi. got Yo and Bucci, uh, Yo Bushi. and Bushi, Kojima, Kojima and Evil, and Goto and Takahashi. Right. So I would think that Goto and Evil is a pretty good lock for a second round match. So the um, the second round uh, would t will be matches on the 24th and July the 1st. And then the... Uh, Next round would be July the third. Or, or we got the quarterfinals, July second, semifinals third, and finals right. on the eleventh. Right. So that's the plan. Um, as far as like bracketing out, I think that Mak Makabe and Ishi is is pretty. It's per, you know, I think that's that, that's a real good shot of that, and that, they always have really good matches. Um, I think Yano would beat Ghetto, so that would probably be um, Hiromu Takahashi and Toriyano, which is complete comedy. I don't know who would advance from there. Okada is not losing to Ghetto, and I would think that Suzuki's beating Nagata, so that's a big match, Okada and Suzuki. I mean, um, yeah, they're, they're always great. And then um, probably Kanemaru and Ishimori are probably going to do um, from the bottom of the bracket. So... It's, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be like some really, really good matches out of it. Um, it's not the tournament that was originally planned. I mean, you, you know, so many, so many top guys from, you know, Will Ospreay and Jeff Cobb and, and Juice Robinson and people like that, that could not get into the country. So, um, but it is the, it is the start and, um, yeah, it'll be, um, be interesting to see how they do empty arena stuff if they put if they put wrestlers in the stands and things like that and try to create an atmosphere or not early on they hopefully they learn some stuff from what's happened in the united states but yeah they're going to have you know from july 11th on um you know i think that they will have a regular schedule um going forward unless there's a s second wave or third wave or whatever we would call it in japan because they've sort of had a second wave so we would say a third wave here we got to worry about a second wave um, coming up when, you know, especially coming off of Memorial Day and the protests and so many other things, you know, and see what the results of all that is.